Hello, and welcome to the Humble Investor Bull Bear Market Report for June 11th, 2018. My name is Adam Strzeski, and here are some important disclosures and our agenda for today. So we're going to go over the broad market readings, where are we on the barometer, and then finally we're going to get into the operating plan, the current indexes that we like, uh, no closed ones, but then we've got, we do have some possible indexes that uh, if they trigger this week that we'll get into, so we'll cover those. First things first, where are we in the barometer? Bull market looks good. Not a, li a, a lot of risk as far as being in a bear market right now, we're clearly not in a bear market. The market's going up. Uh, small caps are making new highs, and many other sectors and uh, sub industries are as well. So, looks good for the bulls right here uh, when we look at uh, a lot of the technical and then also the fundamental uh, factors that we're following to get this reading. 12 month momentum looks good. SP 500 is outpacing the MSC All World X USA index. What that tells us is that we want to look for the opportunity in the U.S. markets rather than the international markets. As long as both of them are above the treasury bills, treasuries represented by this red dotted line down here, then we're in a bullish stance on the longer term 12 month momentum. So it looks good for the bulls on this case, uh, this scenario as well. As far as the correction wisp for this week, it's uh, I like that the breadth on the longer term oscillator has gotten higher on this breakout. If it didn't get higher in the breakout, I'd be a little bit uh, more concerned about it. But it uh, looks good for breadth right there. On the shorter term, however, we do have a negative divergence. You can see how price was a little bit was lower back here. Breadth was higher. And then we saw uh, the breadth did not catch up on the shorter term with price. And so they weren't in sync right there. All it tells you when they're not in sync is that something uh, could be amiss. But overall, it's not a strong signal for a correction risk this week. Uh, but you've got a couple things going for the bears right here. Number one is the shorter term breadth is not lining up with price. And secondly, we're coming into this area of resistance. So we'll see if the the bulls can break through to the upside or if in fact they do get caught and we start to see some downside action this week. Here's a longer term look at the S&P 500. Here's a weekly. So uh, each one of these bars represents one week of trading. Last week was a good week for the S&P 500 up 1.62 percent. We were stuck in this trading range for about three weeks in this tighter trading range broke to the upside and now you can see that we're we're still within the trading range on this larger level uh, and we're right pretty close to uh, resistance right here about the 2800 level. So we'll see if we can break through to the upside or if in fact this is a uh, this is the last leg until we see another downward move. You know, don't know if we get it. I, I think it kind of depends upon how you count this. This could be the third wave up on a, a three legged move. But um, would have liked to seen a little bit stronger to the upside, like a, a lot more uh, bull bars. You can see there's a lot of bear bars mixed in here. Uh, but as far as uh, bullish action, I'll take it. And we'll basically be under the assumption that the small caps, as you'll see later, are correct. And they're going to lead the market higher, the general index is higher, uh, rather than the other indexes that haven't made new highs like the S&P 500 uh, will drag those down. So still room uh, to move to the upside and even though we are coming into resistance this week. As far as our operating plan, still like preferreds, U.S. small caps, U.S. growth, and here's a look at our weekly swings that we're still involved with, cur uh, involved with currently. And here's what I had mentioned earlier about small caps up 2.27% for the week. Just a great week for them. You can see they broke out to the upside. They're leading the market higher. U.S. growth is right there. And if you look at it closely, it looks like it closed right about on the high of uh, Jan that it had back in January. And so it's right there. And so this is the, really the question. Will U.S. small caps lead the market higher like they have been? Or will the uh, other... In indexes that have not made new highs uh, pull back the market. So right now the basic premise is that they, they will the small caps and other indices that are leading will lead the market higher. 
Uh, of course, we'll be watching that closely to see if that relationship changes. U.S. Treasuries down 0.53% for the week. Not looking really good for the U.S. Treasuries. Every time we get down to support, it is another level for the bears to break to the downside. Uh, again, it's just not really bullish on it. We had an opportunity to get second purchase in here. Didn't take it. Uh, just don't really like the action. And again, uh, I think I say this in every one, but the actual vehicle that is traded is still within this trading range. Uh, even though this doesn't represent that. So that's the only reason that we're still involved or else we would have been stopped out. Australia up 1.2% uh, for the week. We've adjusted our stop up. And, you know, it doesn't look uh, terrible for Australia. It doesn't look good either. Uh, not quite as strong as the S&P 500 or, of course, small caps making new highs. But we're right at about the break-even point. And if uh, we don't see some positive action here pretty soon, then we'll look at uh, adjusting our stop up even further and just getting really tight on that in case we are in the midst of the top of, uh, topping of the market right here. And same thing with the MSCI EFA. We haven't adjusted our stop up. This is our original stop. But, you know, it's just caught in this trading range. Differences between this and the U.S. Uh, markets is that this is at the bottom of the trading range like much of the other international markets. So, again, we, we'd like to see some positive price action here, a strong bounce to the upside. Uh, and, of course, we're just not seeing it right now. So we're going to hold on to it. Uh, but if, in fact, it does fall to the downside, we're really going to have to look and see uh, how uh, that it starts to uh, form price action-wise down there before we do a second purchase. Healthcare, good week for healthcare, up over 2%. Got an original stop down here at the 840 level on the index, and uh, just looks good for it. So uh, we got this one. This one's our newest one. And as far as our operating plan for this week, no new positions. The monthly trend, we're pretty much all in there. And then as far as the weekly swing, we've got three possible new ones here, transportation, home builders, and aerospace defense. So let's check them out real quick. Transportation right right on the cusp of breaking out if in fact it does break out then we will look at uh, getting in here second purchase range assuming we do purchase down in here right around the 89 EMA moving average exponential moving average and you can see it we had a, a nice bullish breakout right here on this particular bar it's back in the late 2017 prices come uh, down and bounced on support. If it does break out to another high, we'll look at get in, getting in there. Home builders, nice bull bar, late in the uh, late in a downtrend, on support from this major breakout right here. So again, if we get some more positive action, we'll look at home builders. Aerospace and in, uh, in defense. This one looks more like U.S. Uh, large caps, but if it does break to the upside, again, one more uh, week of positive action, then we'll get in with the stop down here below and second purchase range in here. So this one's a little bit tighter of a stop, but uh, I think it is below a, a major, a major leg up. And so if, in fact, the price does remain positive, price action does remain positive, shouldn't go below here. And that's it for this week. Hope you have a great one. And we'll talk to you soon.